Bachelor in Paradise is one of our favorite reality TV spinoffs, but do any of the couples formed on the show actually last? Joe and Serena. Despite Joe's ex Kendall making a surprise appearance, awkward, Joe and Serena did end up getting engaged by the end of the season. I love you. Love you too. My ex did just show up on the beach. If anything, it just made me more confident in how much I do love you. Joe told Serena in the BIP finale, which aired in October of 2021. If anything, it just made me more confident. Um and how much that I do love you. We have definitely had our speed bumps along the way, but the way you've handled it shows me what a kind of loving person you are. Aww. We think the couple will really last. What are they up to now, you might be wondering? Well, they're in no rush to jump into wedding planning or kids or anything like that. Joe told us, we're more or less trying to figure out where we're going to live. We're excited about that. We're still in talks about that and we're on the same page. It's between the three cities, Chicago, Toronto, or New York. York. Right now, they're taking it day by day and are just excited to do the simple things with each other, like go to the grocery store. Piper and Brendan The pair came under fire in season 7 for seemingly beginning their relationship before the season had even started. This proved to be pretty controversial and culminated with them exiting paradise together. They denied allegations that their romance was orchestrated prior to the show, but there was still tension off screen following all the drama. I couldn't be more clear that I came here to be with Brendan. In October of 2021, there were reports that the two had called it quits, which Piper took as an opportunity to confirm that she was still with Brendan. The reason we didn't choose to go public like everybody else in the show after the finale aired was just because obviously our experience was a little bit different, Piper explained on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast at the time. We tainted our own experience in that way, so we are kind of working on ourselves and each other, and we're focusing on being a couple before taking that public because this isn't an easy thing to go through. Hopefully, they're able to cut through all the drama and just focus on their relationship now that they're away from the cameras. Abigail and Noah No, the two didn't end up getting engaged on the show, but they did reconnect following the season being aired. Noah and Abigail left Paradise and realized they missed each other. A title card on the October 2021 finale revealed they are hanging out and taking things slowly. In November of 2021, Abigail posted on Instagram to celebrate his birthday. She wrote in the caption, Happy birthday, babe. You make life fun. Here's to celebrating you. To which he replied in the comments, You make it easy. Thanks babes. How adorable. So yes, the pair are definitely still together as of the posting of this video. Cheers to first dates, making more memories, and hopefully hearing things more like that. Mari and Kenny After a slow start, Mari and Kenny did end up getting engaged by the end of the season. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Now, they're planning a fall wedding in Puerto Rico because Mari's family is all from there. But first, they're going to move in together. I believe in, in what we have and I really do think that. I live in Maryland and Kenny lives here in Chicago, so I will be moving here early next year, Mari told Extra TV in October of 2021, adding, that's just gonna be the first step. Kenny said during an interview with Entertainment Tonight, we haven't been able to sort of explore the city. I want her to see some of the cool stuff and actually walk around and enjoy downtown Chicago. They like posting a lot of each other on Instagram. Mari posted a fiance appreciation post for all the selfies he sends her. The many faces of Kenny she wrote in the caption. Aww. Thomas and Becca Even though season 7 ended with Becca breaking things off with Thomas, that didn't turn out to be the final curtain for their courtship. When the finale aired, ABC announced that the pair reunited after filming and are in love. In November of 2021, Becca unfollowed fellow bachelorette Katie Thurston after she made a shady post about Thomas, so she's really a ride or die for her man. I can't stop smiling. I'm a little spin kitten. Chris and Elena There was a bit of controversy during season 7 between these two because co-stars accused the lovebirds of planning their relationship ahead of filming. They denied these claims but left the beach separately. In October of 2021, they revealed that they decided to give their relationship a real shot. Paradise is wherever I'm with you, Elena gushed via her Instagram story. Sounds like three months away from the cameras did wonders for their relationship. 
Riley and Marissa. Yes, with their first date ending with a trip to the Boom Boom Room, Riley and Marissa are still together. It turns out their initial steamy chemistry really lasted. They spend loads of time together and often post cute photos and videos of each other where they're celebrating their love. Riley does have another lover though, Marissa's cat. Riley took to Instagram to share a video of him cuddling Marissa's cat. In the video, Riley sat on the couch while Marissa's white and brown spotted cat adorably rested and stretched on his chest and the cat certainly appears to be infatuated with Riley. Riley looked at the camera and shared, y'all, Riss's cat is in love with me. It just won't leave me. Katie and Chris. Katie and Chris had a whirlwind romance in season six that ended up with the two of them getting engaged in the dramatic season finale. In December of 2019, the pair announced their breakup in a joint statement published on Instagram. Are they still friends after the breakup though? Uh, no. In the podcast, Mouthing Off with Olivia Caridi, Katie revealed I obviously do not stay in touch with Chris. It's the only ex-boyfriend that ever unfollowed me, but I unfollowed him back. She later added, I know that he was probably very mad. He unfollowed me at a really hard time, like at the beginning of quarantine. Dean and Kaylin. We all remember when Dean returned to the beach to get back together with Kaylin after breaking up with her on her birthday. Surprisingly, the two have defied the odds and are still together. Sad tears or happy tears? Happy. Yay! Happy. In 2021, Kaylin admitted to us, I think that's just our unique relationship and we really try not to listen to it. When you go on the show, so many people are going to have so many opinions about your relationship, good and bad. I think we just never really listened to those negative people and we just lived our lives. In early 2021, they bought a home together 30 minutes outside of Las Vegas. Hannah and Dylan. We gotta say, it looks like it's been smooth sailing for the couple ever since they got engaged during the season six finale. Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. In 2019, Dylan told us that they've loved planning their wedding. In 2020, the two moved into their first home in San Diego. She posted a cute black and white picture of them hugging on Instagram with the caption, are you tired of being engaged yet? Dylan commented back, please, four more years. So it sounds like the two are just enjoying the engaged life for now and taking each day as it comes. Crystal and Chris. Crystal and Chris were only married for eight months before calling it quits in 2020, but Chris wasn't totally blindsided that it didn't work out. He admitted that there were warning signs and first held out hope for reconciliation, but it's pretty safe to say that he has no hope now. Since the breakup, Crystal has definitely moved on. She welcomed her first child, Andara, in March of 2021 with her boyfriend, Miles Bowles. They recently took their first family holiday photos together and the three look as cute as can be. She's focused on on being a mommy and having a business, and we're pretty sure Chris isn't on her mind at all anymore. Ashley and Jared. Ashley and Jared's relationship started off as an on and off thing when they first met on Bachelor in Paradise season two. It was always between a friendship and a relationship until they revealed they were finally dating in May of 2018 and engaged of June of 2018. I love you so much. They got married in 2019. So what's going on with them now? Well, they're expecting their first child in February of 2022. Congratulations to the happy couple. Ashley celebrated Jared's birthday recently while posting a photo she took of him with the caption, happy birthday to my insanely handsome husband. I don't know how I can love you more, but somehow each day my love and awe for you grows. You thought I put you on a pedestal back in the day? Little did I know you were so much greater than my obsessed lovesick self even knew. Aw, we are so excited for them taking their relationship to a whole new level by starting a family. So what do you think of these couples? Did any of their outcomes surprise you? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to The Things Reality to stay up to date on all of the latest and greatest in reality TV news.